Goodman. Protests are continuing in Milwaukee two days after police shot dead a 23-year-old African-American man named Silville Smith. On Sunday, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker activated the National Guard after local residents set fire to police cars and several local businesses, including a gas station Saturday night. Seventeen people were arrested. Four police officers were reportedly injured. Last night, two police officers were reportedly injured, and one person was hospitalized after being shot by an unknown assailant. This is a man who said he's the brother of Silville Smith, speaking about the uprising. Right now, you got a, a city riot going on, because, once again, the police has failed to protect us like they say they was going to do. They, they failed to be here for the people like they say they was—like they sworn in to do, you know? And, and us as a community, we're not going to protect ourselves. But if we don't have anyone to protect us, then this is what you get. You know, you get riots. You got people out here going crazy. We losing loved ones every day to the people that sworn in to protect us. The Milwaukee Police Department is defending its use of force in the case of Silville Smith. Police say he was shot while trying to flee from an officer who had stopped his car. Police Chief Edward Flynn said he viewed video from the officer's body camera, and it showed Smith had turned toward him with a gun in his hand after the traffic stop. Many local residents said the tension between their community and the police has been rising for years. Milwaukee is considered to be one of the most segregated cities in the country.